A top American general has said China's military has made dramatic progress in space over the past decade, but the goals of its program remain unclear. General Kevin Chilton, head of U.S. Strategic Command, said it was crucial to cultivate U.S.-China military relations to better understand China's intentions. Chilton's comments came after a top Chinese Air Force commander, Xu Qiliang, called the militarization of space a historical inevitability and said that the country's military was developing offensive and defensive operations in space. The World Bank has raised its 2009 growth forecast for China from 7.2% to 8.4%. However, it has also warned that a sustained recovery will require a shift in the economy to emphasize consumer spending instead of industry and investment. The strength of China's rebound led the bank to increase its growth forecast for developing East Asia by 1.3 percentage points to 6.7%. But it warned that if China were excluded, that growth would be as little as 1%. The Washington-based bank said its higher outlook for China reflects the government's stronger-than-expected $586 billion stimulus package. China's culture ministry has accused the country's publishing watchdog, the General Administration of Press and Publication, or GAPP, of exceeding its authority. The claim comes in a row over GAPP threatening access to the popular online game World of Warcraft. A ministry official, Li Xiong, said the notice which told Chinese online game firm NetEase.com not to operate the latest version of World of Warcraft did not conform to relevant regulations and clearly overstep its authority. NetEase has said it is examining the demand. Li said as long as they're online, these online games and publications are fully subject to administration by the Ministry of Culture. Chinese writers Wednesday said they appreciated search engine firm Google's recent talks with them, but are maintaining their demand for an apology for copyright violation. Tang Hongpo, deputy director of the China Written Works Copyright Society, said a second round of talks is likely to be held in mid-November. More than 50 writers have signed a letter to demand an apology from Google and compensation last month. They accused Google of scanning more than 18,000 books by 570 Chinese writers without any notice and payment. Zhang insisted the main goal of the writers' actions was to urge Google to admit and apologize for its infringement. China's biggest auto parts maker, BJHI, has signed a contract with the American Delphi Corporation to purchase its vibration isolation and braking departments. The deal is worth a reported $90 million. This would make it the biggest overseas auto parts merging move for China so far. It will include equipment, intellectual property, clients, and product supply contracts. Among the clients who will continue receiving auto parts from the Delphi car makers are BMW, Ferrari, and GM. China's central government has approved a project to build a new Disneyland in the city of Shanghai. However, completion of the first phase is expected to take at least five years. The park's planned area is estimated at around three square miles and the cost is put at $3.7 billion. Disney president and CEO Robert Iger said in a statement that China was one of the most dynamic, exciting and important countries in, in the world and the approval marked a very significant milestone for the Walt Disney Company in China's mainland. Officials for the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region said the planned Shanghai Disneyland theme park and the existing Hong Kong Disneyland would complement each other. And that's the BON headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.